What's going on guys, it's Sepp. You can find me live at twitch.tv slash every single night at 6 p.m. PST. And today we are gonna go over why I'm using Dire Promise still. Sepp, Dire Promise? Pa Adept Palindrome's out, it's the best hand cannon in the game. Sepp, Adept Fatebringer has uh, explosive rounds that can reach people across the map as insane rolls. Why are you still using Dire Promise? Well, I've got two different Dire Promises. My first has Snap and Under Pressure, which makes it so that when I'm in the middle of a fight, I'll get an extra stability and targeting bonus, which is kind of nice. But my main Dire Promise is the Snap Elemental. Snap Elemental allows me to get a literal perfect amount of handling 100% of the time. If I'm sliding into an engagement, I can snap onto their head literally instantaneously. Elemental means that I get to swap to and from my Dire Promise quicker, which means I will be able to get to my shotgun even quicker. Yes, your hand cannon handling does matter for your shotgun draw. People seem to forget about that. It's not all about the shotgun. Ha your handling on your hand cannon does matter. So this makes it so I can swap between weapons even quicker. I also manage to get Flared Magwell because it's nice to have a little bit extra stability range because you want as much range as possible and crossfire which is going to add even more range it decreases your handling speed but as you can see it literally doesn't matter but as people know i'm also a spectral main now i still have the snap so i can snap on the people as quickly as possible i still have over 50 handling so it is enough and the 20 stability bonus you get from elemental capacitor gives me enough to get into fights with any person this is my favorite hand cannon of the game i've been using it since dear d year one i'm sorry and uh it's just it's a mad it's a madman like this is in my eyes the perfect hand cannon the only thing i would have i would have been nice to have is i would have loved to have ricochet rounds instead of flared but at the end of the day we take what we can get and with the massive 11 in the magazine without any uh magazine perks at all it's it's definitely my go-to um i'm gonna go ahead and show people you know a couple of examples I'm going to try to do as much demonstration in a rumble game as I can because, trust me, it does literally everything you could ever ask for. Alright, looks like we found a game on Twilight Gap. Go ahead and take that. Now, <clears throat> you're wondering, what other perks can I get? Well, this does come with opening shot and rangefinder on it. And uh, although Rangefinder is an incredible perk, it'll get you that extra range. It's not my favorite because it does change FOV. I'll definitely stick to uh, the roles that you can go with. We're gonna go with the Arc Strider just for the handling. Looks like we got teamed right off the bat. Not bitter at all. Is but a thing of rumble. We got mapped. Beautiful. That's what we like to see. If you were not lucky enough to get a uh, good enough roll at Zur, I definitely, definitely am sorry for you because the only other way to get a dire at this time is through. Hello? Not the bombs. Um, is through the gunsmith. And the gunsmith, well. He's going to charge you a billion and a half dollars until uh, you beg him and sacrifice a couple of children. Hey, we stole it. Interesting that they wait there, but you know what? I'll take it. Looks like we got a good, relatively good lobby. It'll you know, demonstrate how to shoot against actually good player. Just means that we're not going to get our beautiful 20 and 0. I cry. Now, the nice thing about hand cannons is the ability to peak shot. Eh, you know, we'll take the heavy. Because the more that you peak shot, the more advantage you're going to have over things like fully automatics. We take free kills. What is that? Is that Icefall Mantle? People use that? If you guys have ever used Icefall Mantle and it succeed, uh, you let me know, okay? Because that was something that we all thought was going to be broken. Then realized that you move slow as a truck. Thank you. One spawned behind us. Gabe, best friend with the multi-mock. 
The nice thing about fully automatics is that uh, when you're out in the open challenging them, they uh, they generally have a faster kill time than hand cannons. It's not the point of hand cannons, it's their kill time. It's, uh, man, is that really worth it? The point of hand cannons is to be able to peak fight. Now, when I play overly confident, it's going to bite me. And I deserve that. Uh, we aren't playing our life. I'm trying to show off uh, how crisp the dyer's handling is. And why on earth am I still using it? Because, uh, god dang. And you know what? I, I don't hold shame. Wow. Okay. You know what? Ice Fall almost had a... What? Almost had a purpose there. This is why people don't play Hunter anymore. That right there. That hit rig? Oh, man. Enough to make a man cry. Once again, we take heavy. We're not shameful. Now, what is the best thing to pair with a hand cannon? I would always say that it is either a sniper rifle that you're ready to go for body shots with or a high handling shotgun because you're going to be using it to clean up most of the time. Well, that's silly. Rockets are bad. Come on, Gabe. Thank you so much, Gabe. The ease of use of a dire is also something to be noted. It's very, very accurate. You know what, nerdy? I don't want to play today. We'll be over here. See? See how quickly you're able to swap between weapons to shoot? That right there, that is why I like Dire so much, is if one weapon whiffs, you can always switch to the other. Is this a fight we lose? No! We come out on top. The last kill of the game, always cursed. Look at them. They're spread out in all four directions. We got a shotgun whiff. There's the cleanup. So as you can see, the uh, synergy of a high handling hand cannon, especially one very... <laughs> There's nothing I love than moments like that. Really, really. Thank you, nerdy. Um, it's all about having a high handling uh, hand cannon that is super reliable that you can use to swap to your shotgun. That's why I don't use Fatebringer is because I don't need a handling exotic or anything to carry me. Fatebringer doesn't have bad handling, but the ability to have a very high handling gun to pair with a shotgun, it's just the synergy of a build really is what brings it all together. So that is why I still use Dire Promise. That's why you should use Dire Promise, but if you guys want to use Fatebringer and shoot people across the map, I respect it as well. Uh, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. If you have any further questions, I am live at Twitch every single night, and I appreciate you guys' time. Much love. Have a wonderful evening. Peace.